order of operations with fractions. These you might really like. So here we go. Let's say I have two-thirds plus one-third squared minus five-ninths. So order of operations we know. We had it with whole numbers. P-E-M-D-A-S. Right? That's our order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's our mnemonic. So I have to do what's in parentheses first, then exponents. Then remember, it's multiplications or divisions as they appear from left to right. Then addition or subtraction as it appears from left to right. So in this case, there's nothing to do inside parentheses. I can do exponents next. So my two-thirds stays. One-third times one-third. That's what one-third squared means. So I'm going to get, I'll move down here, two-thirds plus a ninth minus five-ninths. So now I have all addition subtraction. I can get a common denominator. So I just need to change this to ninths. So three to nine is three. I get six-ninths plus one-ninth minus five-ninths. So now I can combine them all together. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 minus 5. I get 2 nights. All right, let's do one a little bigger. All right, 1 third times 4 fifth minus 3 tenths times 4 fifths. Right, you want to one harder than that, usually. So now, it might look bad to you, but here we go. I have to do what's in parentheses first. That means I have to do this addition-subtraction. So it's addition-subtraction, we have to get a common denominator. So it's going to be tenths. So five, what do I multiply five by to get ten? Two, two fours, it's going to give me eight tenths minus three tenths. So I'm going to get five tenths. So now you have a choice. If you want, I could take simplify this down to a half at this point or just do it later. But I have one third times five tenths times four fifths. So now I have all multiplication. I can do them all at once. I can cancel any numerator with any denominator. Five into five, one. I can cancel this. Five into five, one. I can cancel these two. 2 and the 4, 2, 2 and the 10, 5. So it looks like I'm left with 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1. I multiply across. 1 times 1 is 1, times 2 is 2. 3 times 5 is 15, times 1. And I get 2 fifteenths. So we'll do a few more. Let's say I have 7 eighths minus a fourth minus 3 fourths squared times 2 thirds. We have to do it in parentheses first. So I have to get a common denominator. So 7 eighths minus 2 eighths. So I'm going to get 5 eighths. Did what's in parentheses. Have to do exponents next. 3 fourths squared means 3 fourths times 3 fourths. So I'm going to get 9 sixteenths. So I'll take it slow. I did what's in parentheses first. I got my 5 eighths. I did my exponent next. I got minus 9 sixteenths. Now, here's where people mess up. I can't just go get a common denominator here. You can't go as you read from left to right. Because order of operations says that I do what's in parentheses first, then I do exponents. Then I have to do any multiplications or divisions as they appear from left to right. So I have to do any multiplication or division before I do the addition subtraction. So I forget this and I have to multiply these. So you just have to be careful. 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 9, 3. 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 16, 8. So I'm going to get 3 eighths. So now I have 5 eighths minus 3 eighths. So my answer is 2 eighths. i got to simplify. 
so I get one fourth. All right, let's do another one. Uh, another big one, kind of like this. So here we go. Last one. Three fifths plus five sixths minus two thirds quantity squared times twelve fifths. Have to do what's in parentheses first. So I have five six. I got to change this to six. Six is two. I'm going to get four six. So I'm going to get one sixth. So now I have three fifths plus one sixth times twelve fifths. So all I did was what's in parentheses first. Have to do exponents next. This is one sixth times one sixth. So I'm going to get three fifths plus one times one is one. Six times six is thirty six. You get one thirty six times twelve fifths. Then you have to know that I got to do multiplication before I do addition subtraction. I can cancel 12 into 12, 1, 12 into 36, 3. So I get 3 fifths plus uh, 1 fifteenth. Have to get a common denominator. So my 3 fifths will, whoop, my 3 fifths doesn't stay. I got to change this to 15 5 and the 15, 3, I'm going to get 9 15 plus 1 15. That's going to give me 10 15. Then I have to simplify. 5 into 10, 2, 5 into 15, 3, so I get 2 thirds. So now you just have to try a few on your own.